What is up guys, Boris here and today I'm coming to you guys with a very quick walkthrough of the 30 Stamina Kimono Straw Hat Fortnite which is going to be coming out in global pretty much around the same time that I'm posting this video. So I wanted to go ahead and let you guys in on this free to play team. Uh, just so uh, if you guys have, you know, looking for a team to pick, there's just a very simple one. I just literally just put Mihawk and some slashers together. And I'm going to be running this team without any specials, so, you know, feel free to use specials if you, you know, it makes it a lot easier. You can even probably bring Golden Pound to make this even easier than that. Um, and this dungeon is actually one of the easiest dungeons uh, in Easy World Fortnite, in my opinion. It's very cool because it drops a lot of story mode characters. So you see here, both Johnny, Yosaku drop, you have uh, Ingram drops, you have uh, Bon Clay can actually drop from this dungeon, so that's a very popular one, Full Body can drop. They have very low drop rates, especially Bon Clay, but they do drop, so if you farm this dungeon enough, you will get them to drop eventually. And overall, the, the new units, they're okay, they're not very good, I mean, they're, they're not bad. Mirage Tempo Nami, for instance, um, is, is a good unit, but then if you have the Kimono Nami, it has the same ability, but you can take it up to level 99, and it also heals. The Zoro is, uh, I believe, maybe he doesn't, uh, I don't know, I forget what the Zoro and Luffy do, but they're not uh, anything too special. But I do recommend, if you're a global player, definitely pick them up. Uh, very nice to have at some point. Uh, I, other than that, though, you know, sockets aren't in the game yet, so, you know, you're not going to be able to socket your Luffy's and your Zoro's with these guys. But it's still a really cool uh, dungeon to run, nonetheless. And here, like I said, you're primarily just making a free-to-play team. Hopefully, you guys should be able to do it. Uh, and I mean, even using the new Dofi, you know, hopefully you guys picked up a Dofi Mingo. Uh, and level him up because he has a lot of stats even if you don't max his skill he, he has one of the highest attacks in the game if not the highest at the moment on global so now this Zoro is a bit uh, sort of weird in that after, when, he, when he attacks you lock the uh, three units on your left so you can bring someone who you know, reduces locks like um, Telemepo and you know do, do that or you can just stall you know use someone who stalls and you know, just take him out before he does this thing but as you can see it's not that big of a deal uh, with the coffin boat, uh, you, you can tank a lot of hits. You'll see here, I'm going to tank another hit from him in a little bit. But again, you, this is not necessary. As long as you bring someone who can stall, um, you should be fine. I just did this run really quick, trying to get it out before the you know, Fortnite comes out on Global. So, you see here, I'll take another hit. Not that big of a deal. I have a ton of HP and just keep attacking. And again, I'm trying not to use any specials, just to, you know, to show you guys how, how easy this can be. And, uh... Here's Luffy. Now the trick to Luffy is that you do not want to get him below 20% because below 20% he will heal back up to 50 and that's kind of pain. And if you, you know, put him at 20 again, he'll do like a ton of damage. Pretty much one shot you, so be very careful. So you see here, I have enough to just go ahead and take him out this turn. Again, definitely blue slasher is the way to go if you're needing a slasher team. So that's why I have Brook and Zoro. Uh, so there's a couple other good free-to-play slashers like Luchi, for example, but for the most part, that's going to be it. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope this helps, and good luck farming the Kimono uh, Fortnite. Until next time, guys, thanks for watching.